Hi, I'm Jesse McCollum. Today, we're gonna show you how to replace a high frequency board in your Everlast inverter welder. As you might recall, earlier this year, Everlast announced that all machines purchased after January 1st, 2022, now come with free shipping to and from the repair facility for all warranty work. But if you don't wanna wait for the ship time and the machine at the repair facility, we do offer the parts to be shipped to you and the customer can do the repairs themselves. So today we're gonna to show you how to replace a high frequency board. So in a previous video, we showed you how to adjust your points and your points are right here on this high frequency board, which are tucked back in the machine a little bit. So the points are serviceable and we've shown you how to do that. But if you had a capacitor or one of these diodes go bad, then the whole board needs to be replaced. So you can see it sits just like this in the machine we're going to flip this machine over, show you how to take the screws out, show you which connectors to, uh, to take off, and how to replace this board now. So now that we've got the machine down on its side, we've got three clips to take off and then four screws. Let's start by getting this clip off. It's got a little retaining lock on it. Pull it off. Get these clips off. We do need to cut this zip tie so we can get these wires away. Be careful not to clip those wires. Now we've got our four screws. We've got two here and we've got two on the back side of this piece. All right, so now before you put your new high frequency board in, you wanna go ahead and make sure to check your points gap because it's a lot easier to do it now than when it's in the machine. So I've got my 35 thousandths feeler gauge. Go ahead and double check these. Got a nice little bit of drag. So these points are set correctly from the factory. Let's go ahead and put this new board back in. All right, so now we've got our spacer and our screw through the board to start. We've got our points facing towards the front of the machine. So now we can go ahead and start reinserting this board. So you want to go to this front hole of this mount, get your first screw started, grab your next spacer. And this is where it is going to be a little tricky for hand position and getting everything to line up. So just take your time. So now we've got all of our screws positioned and started, so let's go ahead and tighten them all up. We'll get our clips back on and we'll be ready to run. All right, now that we've got our screws installed, our board is mounted solid, let's go ahead and reinstall our clips. This is the easiest part of this job. All right, there we go. Our high frequency board replacement is complete. All that's left now is turn the machine up, put the case back on, and we can start running again. All right, so we just got this thing all back together from that high frequency board replacement. Not too bad of repair. A couple of the screws are a little tricky to get to, but it's four screws, three clips, super easy repair. Now, remember, always make sure to call customer service first, talk to tech support, get the repair approved but this is what these machines are built for. They're meant to be serviced by the consumer. So hopefully this video helps you out if you ever do need to replace your high frequency board. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.